The next question, the member for Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker to the Premier. Last Thursday, Canada released a annual report on greenhouse gas emissions. Ontario is showing sharp increases in GHGs since they bottomed out at the beginning of the pandemic. The report showed increases in Ontario's emissions were the largest in Canada. The Conservatives' inadequate climate plan is headed towards failure. When will the Premier take action to sharply cut Ontario's emissions to protect our standard of living? The Parliamentary Assistant and Member for Windsor to come see. Here and thank you for the question to the uh, member opposite. Uh, our government's dedication to protecting the environment is clear. The report confirms that Ontario continues to lead the country with 86% of Canada's total greenhouse gas emission reductions. And we'll continue to build on this success by making Ontario a global leader in electric vehicles and investing in clean steel production, reducing emissions by the same amount as taking 2 million cars off the road. We will continue making historic investments Order. in the critical investments uh, to get Ontarians where they need to be, such as the Ontario line that takes another 28,000 cars off the road every day. So, in addition to those historic investments, we've also invested in conservation through the Greenland Conservation Partnership, which has protected over 420,000 acres of land. So, we've proven we can protect the environment without imposing a costly, job killing carbon tax on. Thank you. Supplementary question back to the member for Toronto Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. And again to the Premier. We've heard all the stories from the Premier and his ministers, but they don't change the reality that Ontario is not going to meet their targets and it's increasing its emissions under their watch. And that means the government is not leading the fight to protect our way of life, but it is going backwards. Because of climate change, we're headed to a harder and more expensive life for all of us. Why won't the Premier act now? The Minister of Energy. Speaker, we are acting now. We are a government of action that's building new non-emitting resources right across our province. And at the same time, we're ensuring that the price of electricity stays low. And as a result of that, what we're seeing are multi-billion dollar investments in the sectors that are going to actually reduce the emissions where the emissions are. We're going to be building EVs. We're going to be building EV batteries. We're putting in green steel electric arc furnaces at our steel making facilities, Mr. Speaker. We're putting non-emitting resources right across our province because we're building out the transmission so we can use the advantage that we have. And it's a clean energy advantage, Mr. Speaker, something that that member wouldn't understand. The people in Milton, the people in LKM, (laughs) disagreed with their proposals last week. They got 6.76% in the by-election. Response. We've got two new Tory members because people are opposed to the federal carbon tax and they're opposed to Bonnie Crombie, the queen of the carbon tax. 